this but this is Bubba -bu Benjamin Breaker Novotny, and I am back with another replay that I took from actually basically this is a special request sent to me by one of the guys at Demos. I wish I had remembered the guy's name, but I don't. But in the lower left hand corner, spawning as our red Zerg, he's gonna be JF Demos. I'm just gonna call him JF from now on. And in the upper right hand corner, spawning as our blue Terran, it's gonna be GHF. Now what is interesting to note is that this replay, although there is no ranking system in Legacy of the Void just yet, was listed on SC2 replay stats as a GM level game, or at least a, a game between two GM level players. So what we can probably infer from this is either both players were bluffing that they were GM, which I don't think is the case, or scenario two would be that SC2 replay stats knows the battle.net profiles of both of these players under the present heart of the swarm matchmaking system and they are both in Grandmasters League which I think is the more likely scenario at hand. Now we can already see I wouldn't necessarily call this wonky play but not necessarily macro oriented play coming from GHF already going for double refineries at the stage basically that indicates tech up very early tech up and now JF is gonna go ahead and go for an go for a hatch first I just wish I knew the specifics of how early this thing came down it's like Legacy of the Void, it's so difficult to say, but I mean the timings are all wonky, screwed up if you will, or anything else like that. But um, I'm not complaining, you know? It's just, that's the only gripe I have. Okay, I guess a gripe is a complaint, but let's, let's, get, let's not get too nitpicky. The thing is, I can't really tell like what the solid build order is here. So going for double refinery, each one does have an SCV on it, before going for the natural expansion, which is something I'm not quite able to accurately read into coming from GHF. I mean, he's banking a lot of gas. Yes, we can tell that much right off the bat. He's not making anything else. What on earth is this? An overload's gonna come out, but I mean, uh, I saw the SCV coming out. Is this gonna be proxy units? Maybe, maybe. We're about to find out, but there's no, there's no music. What did I do? All right, we'll worry about it later. So. Back at home, D, uh, JF is going to go ahead and get started on what I imagine would be metabolic boost pretty soon here, right? He's going for it a little bit late. He's not actually getting it yet. He's continuing to take gas. I'm like, uh, there's a lot of things not making sense, but there we go. Finally, a factory on the way. SCV is not going for any proxy stuff, but that is kind of a late factory. And I don't see the reason for it just yet. So let's try not to give that too terribly much thought. My analysis, I'm never, I was never in Masters on even North America. I was only Masters on China, which is equal to like C. So take what I have to say with a grain of salt. Layer tech, no metabolic boost. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? That is right. Okay. Reactor E. Reactor E, that's a factory with a reactor on it. Uh, Marines coming out here. And they're going through the natural, interestingly enough. And it looks like it's going to be mech coming out of GHF. So I guess it's just him going for those two extremely early refineries is perhaps all up to his preference. Now, what can happen here is probably probably most likely what is going to happen. We're going to see a ton of aliens coming out. And where on earth is the music? It's been a good solid two minutes without any of that out. Lings are out on the map, but there's no metabolic boost. I'm wondering if JF is completely aware of this. It's This isn't something that's making too terribly much sense to me. This is... I mean, it's a little bit weird. Yeah, I know this is a beta game, guys. I know it is, it's a beta game, but I mean, this is nothing like even the early Wings of Liberty days. Oopsie, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, nothing even like the early Wings of Liberty days back in... Uh, SC2. Now finally the Overlord sees what's happening here. Just a glimpse of it and it's gonna be a tech lab on a factory. Sees the second factory, third factory. Now it's basically a given that this is in fact going to be a bunch of factories. Now my curiosity is perked at whether or not this is actually patch 2.5.2. In case you guys didn't know, patch 2.5.2 removes a very... It, it, there are a few subtle changes with it. We'll see the Liberator if a Starport comes out. On top of that we'll also see... Uh, We'll also see that 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 ability that the corruptors have removed and instead replaced with corruption, but it can be auto casted, if you will. And finally we got the music back three minutes later. In game. I do like this move coming out from Deimos. Oh man, he's going for the roach and hydra in the background. 
It's looking sick, sick, sick already. It's Sick City. I, you know, I'm wondering if this was perhaps part of a qualifier tournament for Lotus. Maybe, just maybe. Something worth considering. Spine crawler on the way at the front door. There's nothing chipping away at the back. So, I mean, for the time being, JF is pretty much good to go. But this feels, this game itself, in peculiar, seems to feel like it has that heart of the swarm pace to it. Because, I mean, yeah, we see we see Hellions out a minute sooner than we would expect to. Or maybe at more or less the same time we would expect to see them in heart of the swarm or even Wings of Liberty. But try not to grab too much about it. So we kind of come out here, the nice and creep tumors doing the job, living, fulfilling their purpose, if you will. But at the same time, we're going to have more and more aliens on the way in the background. Or are we? This one factory is neglecting to crank any out. Maybe it's going to be there for just tanks. We've got lurkers on the way, at least later on. It's going to be as we have the hydralis den morphing into a lurker den. Roaches are on the way as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see them turn into corruptors. But now what happens is the question at hand. All those slowlings spreading out on the map and the roaches just scare away the hellions for the time being. They're like, don't come up here, don't come up here. But I love this move, lurker drops. Oh man. We got pneumatic carapace and ventral sacs being researched in the background along with a lurker den. Those roaches are just a front. They're saying, hey man, don't come here. Don't you come here. I will eat your hellions alive. And you can keep them at home if you wanted to. But uh, obviously for timing measures, if you will, the best, the best case scenario for our Zerg would actually be to maybe get those Hydras up in this direction, start morphing them into Lurkers. But, uh, right. Overlord Speed is just about to finish up and Ventral Sacks won't be done for a considerable amount of time. Alright. Hydras are now on the way and the Lurker Den is done. But that's a lot of Hellions out on the map. I mean, just simply based on the merit that they see this many roaches and the number isn't really increasing all that much. You know, something's got to be going through GHF's head at the moment. He's got all the defenses at the front lines, which is not where you'd want to have them in this kind of scenario. It's all right. We'll find out soon enough just what our Zerg is up to. We've got lurkers on the way, but I, you know, I think that's just maybe drop harass lurkers. I'm not going to be all in lurkers by any merit, I guess you could say. Lean getting lazy, not one to attack that SCV gets back to work. And there we go. That third is delayed. And our Zerg already has three bases. Medivac's out here, and if Deimos actually saw that, if JF actually saw that, it should be a tell. But I don't think he really did, um, for the life of me, actually see what's up. So Lurkers are now moving out in the, well, at least through the mothership. mothership. Um, through the Overlord. It's been a long time since I've actually casted any StarCraft, and I love casting nothing but Legacy of the Void. And we got more and more Hydras on the way in the background. This is... I guess you could say it's gonna be painful. Um, JF really hasn't lived up to the purpose of those Hellions, those Hellbats. They haven't gotten any workers killed. I mean, yeah, there's... And there's been two, two killed since the beginning of the game for JF, but I mean... The real strength of a Terran is the ability to harass, and I feel like GHF is taking this just a little bit too passively. I mean, his opponent was able to deny his third just a little bit, and very cost-effectively, I might add. But at the same time, um, this is how you are supposed to get ahead as Terran, and I feel like he just hasn't fulfilled that end. In fact, his opponent is taking a relatively uncontested fourth base, and I like this move. I'm wondering if this is a decoy overlord or if it's an overlord meant to scout a fourth base. And it looks like it will just... Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. He sees it. He sees it just barely. And those lurkers are going to hit the mineral line in just a couple of seconds. This is not where you'd want to be as Terran. No missile turrets. But I mean, all the damage is kind of, I guess you could say, a little bit reduced. Okay, he's going to put one there and the other one there. Yeah, pulls the SCVs just in time. Uh-oh. 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 Pulling the boys. And now, GHF is just going both to the wall all in with this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's no mining here. This is what's peculiarly dangerous about this entire scenario. The tanks are forced to stay back at home. And now, it looks like JF's got a huge hungry army at his front door. Army, army supply discrepancy is about 40 now. And 
in the background there's actually another lurker drop taking place as well that takes the total number of workers killed to 14 nothing hitting the third however and it looks like this is gonna hurt the queen it's just gonna get knocked out I it says don't don't you just stay stay out of my home stay out of my home don't you call me anything bad like that spoiled girlfriend and now the widow mines are attaching themselves to a handful of roaches that are here. Lurker getting into the front line, stealing out so much splash damage. The Hydra's just powering through all of this. The Medivac's doing what they can. The entire army is surrounded by our Terran, and it looks like, indeed. The, the Liberators don't really even get a chance to fight here. That was such... I guess you could say an instantaneous and decisive engagement, and it was all brought on by the fact that... I mean, really, GHF, he didn't do too much in the way of harass early game. He lost a lot of workers as he was basically getting pounced on if you will and there's there's not too terribly much else to say to this game lurker drops would i'd say they're unviable to some to some degree yes i would say they are but i mean jf Deimos, like there's there's a strength you have when you are playing mech at least that holds true in part of the swarm but perhaps not so much in legacy of the void that is you have to throw minerals at your opponent you have to throw hellions at your opponent to kill him. There are liberators here, but they never got used, unfortunately. I would have liked to see a field demonstration of them, but yeah. So that's it for now, guys. My name is BreakerSC2. I'll see you guys next time.